So the first thing in installing the Bontech CR10 kit is removing the old mount on the motor. So we got to get all the uh, all the hardware off of here. This is actually an upgraded mount that I put on before because I was having problems with the plastic wore out, and that. Uh, and I needed to buy a metal one. So now I put a metal one in and now with an upgrading to the Bond Tech, I need to now put remove it completely. The motor gets used. The current mounting bracket for the motor gets used. Everything gets turned at an angle now. So got that off. Need to remove also the drive gear for the uh, that was for the filament before because now we're going to use a different drive gear that actually drives a gear motor inside the Vontech. Take that out. I took that completely out. Loosen that up. Take that gear off. This motor is going to come out. You can see all the grinding that's been done to the to this clear filament. That's given me a problem. It keeps binding and, and uh, grabbing when I'm uh, trying to print, and it keeps failing my prints. On regular PLA, it doesn't do that, but on this clear. Uh, Sol Solutech, or yeah, Sol Solutech, or something like that. It tends to bind. So let's see, we got that. So what's going to happen is we're going to be mounting on here in this manner, like this. This mount, which is a CR10 mount. And that's going to get mounted to where this motor used to go. <clears throat> and then the motor that used to be on here is going to go in this back side here. Am I not the same? Yeah. So it's going to go like so. And get mounted in here, which gets mounted here like that. And the bond tech actually goes right here. And I got to figure out how I'm going to put my filament detect because this doesn't include that. So I gotta figure that one out. May have to end up gluing it to the side of it or something to allow my filament detect to still work. Because I do like having my filament detect. I do like that it does work, it does pause. But it does make it a lot easier to uh, print long prints and not worry about your filament running out and, and messing your print up. And then all I do is just put new fil more filament in and it will start up again and take and start from where it left off which is always nice so this is going to go like so get mounted on here the actual bond tech has three screws on it it's actually going to get mounted like so but after you put a gear on here there's actually a gear that came with the bond tech and that's this is the gear here it gets put on this motor I need to find uh, where the set screw is there's only one set screw and what I don't know is how far into onto the motor I need to have this because it doesn't tell me anything there's no directions on on that part of it. So I'm going to make some minor assumptions here. But it stops and then go all the way. Don't know why. I don't see anything that should stop it. There it goes. Okay, so I got the slide on there. 
Uh, let's see how it does here. Uh, so going in like that is not gonna, it's not going to mate. So I need to go all the way down, basically onto the onto the shaft like so, so that it can get in there and drive that. And then the screws that are in the Bontech uh, screw into this into this mount or right through this mount into the motor. And I'll tighten this down. And then these guys get screwed in here uh, through this bracket and into that bracket. Nice that this screw barely, barely actually go through. I'm not getting into that one for some reason. Which is not a good thing. I'm not getting through there. Well, that's not cool. I need a longer screw than what they gave me. But I'll work, I can do that in a little while. So let's get this. I got that on there. Um, let's tighten up those screws a little bit. Tighten up these guys. Maybe that'll help to make the other one actually tighten up and fit. Maybe that one will go in now. Who knows? Nope, still doesn't, still doesn't want to go in. Okay. So, I need a longer screw for that. And then, so you're seeing the things that I'm seeing. Um, this needs to go in there. And then these screw into the, the motor. out on me. So I need to make sure I'm getting through and the motor needs to stay in place when I'm doing it. And that's got the first screw started. And this should start the second screw going. I don't want to make it too tight because I don't want to crack the plastic since everything is plastic and not metal. With metal I could be a little bit more uh, tough on it. Okay, so filament feeds through here. There's two rollers just like this. They're being driven by a gear down here that drives both those motors. Your filament goes through and gets fed into here. Uh, I need to mount this a different way so that I can get my, like I said, my filament detect in there. So I'll figure that out in a little while. That's for a different Part of this guy actually glued that onto this mount here so that it kept falling off all the time. So I have to remove that. Then there's a spring that goes on here and screws that in. And that's how it keeps pressure on, how you adjust the pressure on this uh, top gear. And that should take care of all that. I'm not sure what this is all about here, why they needed this. Uh, so I don't know the, the reasons for some of these things, but now I got to figure that out. So this, anyway, so the Bontek is all installed. Uh, that's all there really is to it. Pretty, pretty easy piece of cake, uh, and that's the installation of the Bontek on the CR10. And uh, once I get my filament detect moved, uh, I'll actually do a print with it. I'll be printing my pieces that were failing every time for to finish up my uh, Iron Man. And that, that about does it. Thank you. 
So I've removed the uh, Bond Tech from and, and the motor drive from my CR10 because I found out what this little side piece and cover were for. Is that this is my um, filament detect, and this is so that you can take apart this filament detect and put the filament detector inside the Bond Tech in here. And then I have my film detect built into the Bontech mount. So that's what I'm about to do here right now. It is remove that and thus install my film detector inside. If I can get the screws out, that is. And I'm not sure if you can see it or not because I can't tell where the camera is actually pointed. If you can see what I'm working on, right here is the filament detector. Right here is where the filament detector will mount in the Bontech uh, CR10 mount. This is the cover for that CR10 mount. And I'm using, I'll use existing screws in which to mount to close that cover up after I put the filament detector that was originally part of the CR10 into the Bontech uh, CR10 mount. The print solid seems to take a little bit of thought into their processes and you know actually sit there and they buy a product and then they make a mount for it. Just like they did for the uh, uh, Mosquito. They made a uh, E6, E36V, E3D V6 mount for the Mosquito that allowed me to mount it on my CR10 as well using the CR uh, E3D V6 uh, mounting bracket that was 3D printed and it also is the same bracket that holds my um, Easy Able uh, bed leveling detector and so that's where that is at and here's my detector oh, it's just a little, little switch <coughs> obviously this goes in here just like so and this cover would then go and mount, I believe, like so as well, so that I can put those two screws right in there, two of the screws. Then have a place for the third screw, a place for, th for two of them. Uh, screw those in. And that will allow me then to have my filament detector built into my Bontech mount. Awesome stuff, huh? It's actually a pretty nice little mount that they, that they designed. They did a good job on it, I believe. Um, as you can see, now I got my filament detector in here. I can plug my filament detect back in, and now it's plugged in, and then I can remount this all back on my printer as I had it before. And that uh, pretty much does the job.